hello guys welcome to another video by supreme tuber in this video i will be teaching you two variable k map okay so uh, two variable k map is is drawn when uh, you have to simplify a boolean function which contains two variable suppose i have a boolean function f is equal to x dot y plus x dot y dash okay x dot y plus x dot y dash plus let's suppose it also has a term x dash y dash okay let's suppose i have a boolean function f is equal to x dot y plus x dot y dash plus x dash dot y dash okay and now you have to simplify the boolean function using k map as uh, there are only two variables x and y in this k map therefore we will be using two variable k map okay so how to draw two variable k map okay so first you will draw like this okay so uh, these are a self of the k map okay one cell two cell third cell fourth cell okay uh, the, there is also a formula to calculate the number of cells it the formula is 2 to the power 2 to the power n okay where n is the number of variables here the number of variables is 2 therefore the number of cells i'll write here number of cells is equal to 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power n n is equal to 2 therefore 4 cells we will draw a table which contains 4 cells for a 2 variable k map ok uh, now drawing the table you will draw a line like this and write the 2 variables like this ok then you will write 0 here 1 here 0 here 1 here ok so now we have to fill the cells ok for filling the cells you will see let's suppose you are filling this cell okay you will see this row and this column okay for filling this cell you will see this row and this column okay so the element which comes here is 0 0 for filling this cell this row and this column the element which comes here is 0 1 the element which comes here is 1 0 1 first we write this element then this element okay then it comes 1 1 okay so it is like this okay so it is like this now we will try uh, this is how a k map is drawn okay so now we will try to draw the k map of the function f and try to simplify the function okay now uh, uh, i have to draw the k map for this so i will draw four cells because 2 to the power 2 is 4 okay so i have drawn four cells then i'll draw a line here i write x and y here where there is zero written you will write y dash okay because it is this side represents y terms okay this side represent x terms okay this line divides x and y okay this line divides x and y this this side represents y terms this side represents x term you don't have to draw these lines i am just uh, telling you for explanation okay adjacent to 0 you will write y dash adjacent to 1 you will write y similarly adjacent to 0 you will write x dash adjacent to 1 you will write x okay so this is uh, the structure of table you have to learn it okay there is no alternative to it now we will fill the elements one by one in this in this uh, table in this k map and then simplify the expression the first element is x dot y okay x dot this uh, this cell represents x dash dot y dash this cell represents x dash dot y this cell represents x dot y dash this cell represents x dot y okay four cells four variables are represented okay so first element is x dot y x dot y is represented by this wherever we are representing we put a one there okay we put a one there one means true this means the there is an output for this cell uh, re, uh, writing one here means there is an output for this cell why there is an output because there is there is a variable x dot y the next variable is x dot y dash x dot y dash okay so we will put a one in this cell also x dash dot y dash x dash means this row this sorry this column x dash means this column and y dash means this column okay so it becomes like this so after uh, filling in the values in the k map you have to pair uh, pair these terms okay you can pair these terms leave them single you can form a quad from these terms 
you can form a octet from these terms we will uh, learn to form all these one by one in all my videos now uh, what is a pair the combination of two elements okay single a single element is called single quad combination of four elements an octet is combination of eight elements okay o only up to octet is required you can also form uh, a term containing 16 elements okay 2 to the power elements you will form okay 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 okay so a pair is formed by two elements as you can see these two elements can combine you can all only combine the elements column wise you can only combine the element column wise row wise okay only you cannot combine elements like this not diagonal okay you, column wise you you have combined this element row wise you can also combine these element row wise any element uh, an element can be included two times okay now we will write the equation for now we will write uh, for writing sorry i'll repeat once again for writing the simplified expression of this k map we will uh, first plot it in the table then we will make pairs okay after making pairs we will uh, write the value of those pairs let's suppose i'm taking uh, naming this pair 2 okay and i'm naming this pair this pair pair 1 pair because two elements are combined then pair 1 is equal to the summation of x dash dot y dash plus x dot y dash you can see here in this pair two element two cells are coming you have to write the summation of the value represented by both the cells okay so you can take y dash common here x dash plus x dot y dash as we know as we know x dash plus x is equal to 1 therefore pair 1 is equal to y dash okay so the value of this pair is y dash now similarly we will find the simplified value for pair 2 okay pair 2 is the summation of these two cells this cell represents x dot y dash and this cell represents x dot y okay now we can take x common here y plus y dash is 1 okay x so pair 2 pair 1 pair 2 now the simplified expression of this function f is sigma of all the pairs if there are pairs forming or quad okay or anything okay the summation of these elements is the sum okay so sorry this is f not e okay so f is pair 1 plus pair 2 which is x plus sorry y dash plus x it can also be written as x plus y dash so this is how you used a two variable k map to uh, to simplify this expression okay you can you could have easily simplified this expression if you took x common in these terms and then uh, further by using boolean algebra okay but uh, suppose it is given in question that you have to use k map then you have to use this method so i'll just uh, explain the method real quick once again first you draw uh, this k map then you fill out the values then you make pairs quad or whatever is forming okay according to this okay if one element can be included more than one times only column wise and row wise are uh, uh, possible no diagonal wise are possible okay then you write the values of these pairs then uh, for writing f you will you add the pairs okay so this was how to make two variable k map hope you like the video like share and do whatever you do and uh, if you have any doubt watch them in the comment section i'll be more than happy to help thank you guys